Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in Free Code Camp. Do or <laughs> we're back in Code Feist doing Minesweeper, Island of Knowledge in the intro section. So if you've ever played that <laughs> awful, awful game, Minesweeper, essentially how it works is it lets you know how many mines are are um, close to these. Uh, so you'll see here. We have a false value, and it's a true to the bottom of it, and a true to the left of it. So thus, there are two mines nearby in its slot. We're essentially going to recreate that and uh, push out our own grid to showcase that. Now, the way that I did it was I created two for loops, and then I checked, because there's only uh, eight spots that you're going to check around it. The three at the top, the left, the right, and the bottom three. The bottom left, the bottom, and the bottom right. I just check to see if those were it. Now, because uh, because of the edges, we have to do a little bit of um, logic to make sure that we're not checking undefined values. And uh, but all in all, it wasn't too bad. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start by creating a variable called mine count. This is just going to be what we're gonna push our values to. Now that now that we have that, we're gonna iterate through the array. And in here, we're going to say let uh, i equal to zero, or i is less than matrix dot length i plus plus. And we're going to do the same thing with j now. <laughs> we'll say four. We'll, uh, oh, and by the way, for the mic in this i, we need to go ahead and push a new array to it, right? So now that we're on our correct row, we'll take mine count, and we're gonna go ahead and push an empty array at this point. Because it's a two dimensional array. So we push that empty array, and then on here, we have our standard for loop let j equal to zero, while j is less than matrix i dot length j plus plus. All right, so now we set up all our looping. Um, um, so we set up our looping. What we do now is we take our mine count and we say, hey, on IJ, on the row and on the column that we're currently on, Go ahead and initialize that and set the value to zero. And the next step is we're going to check all eight slots to see if there's a true value. And if it is, we're just going to add one to it. That's it. Um, now, there are a couple things that we'll have to add some additional definitions. Uh, but uh, we'll worry about that later. So first thing first is let's go ahead and I'll put some comments here because this is how I did it to keep track. We need to check the above one. No, if the way that we check the above is if matrix I and matrix J minus one, if that is equal to, equal to true, then it's J minus one because minus one and the would go up, right? Would go up because um, we're in uh, row and column. So if that is the case, go ahead and take mine count and add one to it. Next if statement, this is below. And then we have if, now the issue with this one was that I was getting an undefined error and uh, we're gonna take care of that right now. So we're saying, look, if that, and then j plus one is not undefined, proceed. Otherwise we get some errors. So if that's the case, we have a nested if that says, hey, if <laughs> matrix i and then j plus one is equal, equal to true, go ahead and take mine count Oh, and this is my count I of J, excuse me. I of J 
this is good. And then same thing, my count, I have J plus plus. And we're gonna do this again for all the values. So it may seem a little bit tedious. <coughs> Next we have to the left. And if the matrix I minus one is not undefined. And then in here, we'll say uh, another if. So this is going to check to the left. And we're saying, hey, if it's true, go ahead and increase mine count i of j plus plus now we're going to check to the right and that will be the four for semi basic ones I guess I'm say if um, matrix I plus one now if that is not equal to undefined And if matrix I plus one, oops, I plus one is equally equal to true, we're going to take our mind count, we're going to I of J plus plus it one more time. Now we're halfway, we're halfway there. Now what we have to do is check the diagonal, the top right, the bottom right. The top left, the bottom left. All right, so we'll start with the down right. And on here we have if matrix I plus one is not equal to undefined. Go ahead and check if it's true. So if it's true, well that's I plus one. J plus one, so that's our, so if that is equal, equal to true. And then finally mine count I of J all right you guys get the idea and then down left I'm gonna I'm gonna copy and paste some of these in and we have sick of writing these but you guys get it so if uh, I plus one Not equal to undefined for the down left because it's the i's that were giving us the undefined errors. J minus one is true. Go ahead and add it. And then we have the uh, top right and the top left. I'm going to go ahead and paste those in there right now. So bam. So that's down left. And then we have top left, top right, and top left. Checking each i for each one of these. Make sure that the minusing and the adding isn't giving us undefined error. And then at the end here, all we have to do is return mine count. Assuming that there is no syntax mistakes. It's going to run our code. There is a syntax mistake. All right. Let's find our syntax mistake. So we have our mind count. We have our array, matrix all length, matrix i all length, R J. I of J is equal to zero. Uh, and we can go line by line for each one of these. So we have our above. That's one of the things about comments that makes kind of testing this a little bit easier. Let's see here. Oh. All right, 
let's run our test. All right, it's not the above. And then we'll do the below. Run our code. That's not the case. Then we'll do left. I, was, I knew there was going to be a syntax mistake, man, after all that typing. That's not the case. Now we're going to go ahead and do right. Run our code. There we go. So that was the one where we messed up on. Sorry about that, guys. A lot of a lot of a lot of checking and but essentially we're just checking the corners and we're checking the the left right top and bottom and then we are done and we know how many mines are near us and that's basically mine so you print a hole um, if you solved it there's probably a mathematical way of going about this I'm not really sure but this was what came to me uh, when I looked at the problem instantly and I solved it pretty quickly because of it. So uh, I'd love for you guys to share your solutions in these videos. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And if you want to support me at Patreon and join the Facebook group, that'd be great as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsors, Dev Mountain. If you're looking for a coding boot camp where tuition and housing is included, definitely check them out. Appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.